Hi guys! Hi to all my old subscribers and hey to all my new subscribers. So today I wanted to do a foundation review. I feel like so many of these companies have been coming out with foundations like back to back to back to back. I feel like there's so much that I, I have to review because first of all, y'all know I love makeup. I love foundation and I'm sitting here on YouTube looking at everybody review all these foundations and I'm like oh no I gotta get back on it because literally I feel like every other week there's a new foundation coming out I did pick up two foundation reviews I was gonna review but one of them I'm gonna have to return because it's not my color but the other one um, I will be doing a review on that one today and it's the L'Oreal infallible foundation 24 hour fresh wear and I paid this is my little receipt so y'all know you know I just bought this yesterday um, I paid $14.99 for this at Ulta I think it could be cheaper at Target I want to say at Target I've seen it for like $11.99 so the difference between this one and the other one this is supposed to be more of a lightweight foundation um, the other one was more matte it was more full coverage I loved it though like I loved I absolutely love that foundation if you guys don't know about that foundation watch my video I will link the link I did a review on that video like I said two years ago I think so watch that video right above here somewhere um, but that foundation was more so full coverage, it was matte, it was, um, it did last all day. This one is supposed to be more sheer, lightweight, uh, let me just read the back. So yeah, it gives you more of a natural finish, um, it wears up to 24 hours, the coverage is supposed to be medium, and the texture is air light. So yeah, that's the difference between this one and the pro matte one. Let's jump in. I'm going to take my primer and I'm going to take the poor the poor professional primer. I love this primer. I'm going to put this primer all on my face. And I always use a primer with foundations. Sometimes for reviews, I don't all right, so the first thing I am going to start with as I let my primer settle in is I absolutely love the packaging. I love this glass packaging. I think it looks sleek. It looks cute. I also love how it has a pump. If y'all know me, if y'all watch my videos, then you will know I love a foundation that comes with a pump. Super convenient, super easy to use. I think it's cute. All right, so I'm going to use one, two pumps, and I'm hoping that is enough. And I, it is very watery, as you guys can see. I'm going to dot, 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 dot. Okay? And I'm hoping you guys can see because I have my mirror right here. So, oh yeah, this, ooh, the color. Ooh, child. This color is looking a little bit yellow. A little bit yellow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think I'm going to need a little more because... I don't know why I did one swipe here. I probably shouldn't have did dots because it probably dries really fast. I'm going to do a little more. I probably should have did a, um, a section at a time. Yeah, I shouldn't have did um, dots because I noticed as it's settling, it's, it's drying fast. So I'm having to use more product. So, so far, um, looking at it in the mirror, it definitely gives you full coverage. It gives you full coverage without looking full coverage, if that makes sense. Like, this definitely feels very lightweight on the skin. I don't feel like I have anything on. Um, my hyperpigmentation is covered up completely. Like, I don't see any dark spots. I don't know if you guys can see any dark spots. I don't see any dark spots. If you're new to my channel, I usually like to wear the foundation for eight hours, come back, and then I give you my final thoughts on the foundation. I like to see if a foundation can hold up for at least eight hours. This foundation claims to hold up to, did I say 24 hours? 24 hours. So we ain't doing 24 hours. We're going to do eight hours, and we're going to see what happens after eight hours. 
So right now, let me grab my phone. Right now, it's 11.22 in the morning. I am going to run some errands, do some things, find something to do. If I don't got nothing to do, find something to do. And then I'm going to come back in about eight hours, um, maybe less. And I'm going to give you my final thoughts on this foundation. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'll be back. Hey guys, all right, so I am back to finish up my review. This is not how I wanted to finish this video, but you guys, the lighting is horrible. It is now nighttime, so I no longer can rely on natural lighting. So right now, the time is 7.57. That is proof that it has been exactly eight hours. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this foundation. I'm gonna keep it quick because I do not like recording from my phone. Um, my rating on this foundation would have to be a nine. This is phenomenal. This is a great drugstore foundation. It held up most of the day. Like, as you guys can see, the coverage is still pretty much there on my skin. I didn't really lose coverage anywhere. It's still on my cheeks. It's pretty much still everywhere. So, far as providing eight-hour coverage, it does that. Far as um, being... Controlling oil, mm, not so much. I was oily. I did blot earlier today. So far as longevity, it does that. Far as oil control, uh, it does an okay job at oil control. Um, far as how it feels on the skin, it feels very lightweight. It feels very airy. It feels like you really don't have anything on. I love that. I love how it feels like I'm really not wearing anything. It's definitely breathable. This is definitely a great foundation. If you're someone who is looking for something lightweight, um, something that you can wear to work that doesn't look like you're wearing makeup, this definitely gives you that no makeup makeup look. All right, guys. So I gave you my thoughts and my feelings on the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation if you guys enjoyed this video please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe until next time guys bye